Thanks, Tyler. The Ohio River is officially in the flood range. The level just passed 36 feet minutes ago, and even as predictions estimate, we have five more feet to go. The water is already flooding into those lower elevation areas. 7 News reporter Colin Roos is live on Wheeling Island to see how they're preparing now that we're within 24 hours from the peak. Colin, walk us through those conditions right now. Well, Michelle, we're here at the lowest point of elevation on Wheeling Island at the Hotel Casino Racetrack. And as you can see, the parking lot is already completely impassable. Now, the casino closed down temporarily about an hour ago, but thankfully they do have a flood plan in place that's been tested and tweaked many times. And they're not alone on the island. Both they and the House of the Carpenter are clearing everything out of their lower levels well ahead of time. The river is expected to crest at 41.7 feet late Thursday night. And that's more than enough to reach basements. Ohio County EMA Deputy Director Tony Campbell wants everyone to understand that the clock is ticking to move your valuables out of the flood zone. You want to be proactive. You want to do it well before the floodwaters get here. And if you do do it and floodwaters don't reach their house, that's okay because you know that's what you're supposed to do. And the next time it happens, you'll be ready for it. looking at include Wheeling Island, Fairmont Avenue, and River Road, where there is already a large cleanup underway. And even as the House of the Carpenter is preparing for their first flood since 2004, they're already ready to help their neighbors with the cleanup. They will have fresh bread and produce from the St. Clairsville Walmart on their doorstep tomorrow, along with some cleaning supplies. Reporting live on Wheeling Island, I'm Colin Roos, working for you.